When Florida State ran on the court tonight, the building almost shook. It was big time college basketball in Tallahassee. Unfortunately, George McLeod picked this night to go ice cold. He was 6 of 22 from the field as FSU shot just 38% for the game. Kenny Payne was high man for Louisville with 24, and the Cardinals led by four at the break. Well, no, I never get down on my shots. Um, I was shooting wide open shots. It wasn't their good defense. Um, I just was missing my wide open shots. Louisville took off in the second half. Look at Everett Sullivan's reverse slam in traffic. That, my friends, was an NBA move. Purvis Ellison was held to 16, but he stretched the Cards' lead to nine with just 2.30 left. Then the fireworks. At the buzzer, after the miss, Tad Hunter was there for the tip-in. That tied it at 69, and the place went crazy. In overtime, FSU jumped out ahead. It was Hunter again. The big guy finished with 19 points. And heartbreak. Again, at the buzzer, freshman Everick Sullivan buried a three, and Louisville escaped the capital with a 78-77 overtime victory. With, with a few minutes left in overtime, we really thought we had the game under control, and they came down and hit a big shot. I'm sitting here kind of disbelief, you know, but they hit a big shot. For a ball game that started with both clubs shooting as poorly as they did, it's amazing this game turned out to be as great as it did. And Florida State came oh so close to giving this crowd a finish that they deserve. But you get the feeling that somewhere along the line, these two teams are going to meet again. At the wild and crazy Tallahassee-Leon County Civic Center, I'm Dave Worth, Action Sports.